The first jawless fish are known from the beginning of the Cambrian period, and throughout the entire Cambrian period, the only fossils of fish known are those of jawless fish. The only body fossils of fish during the Ordovician period are also those of jawless fish. There are fossils of jawed fish, or nathostomes, in the Silurian period, and in fact all four groups of jawed fish are known from the Silurian period. There are fragmentary fossils from the Ordovician period, which do seem to suggest that placoderms, cartilaginous fish, and acanthodians existed uh, in the Ordovician period, or at least their ancestral forms. Unfortunately, because complete fossils are not known, uh, these interpretations can be debated. Until body fossils of the ancestral jawed fish are known, the order of divergence of the various groups uh, can be debated. However, it is generally thought that placoderms represent the most primitive branch of jawed vertebrates since the other groups possess uh, true teeth, a same pattern of tooth replacement, and similarities of the jaw attachment and brain case which placoderms lack. So placoderms are considered to be the most primitive group of jawed fish. Uh, there are many similarities between placoderms and sharks, so that uh, cartilaginous fish are thought to be the second most primitive group, followed by the acanthodians, which are considered to be transitional between cartilaginous fish and bony fish, and then finally uh, bony fish, the osteichthians, are considered to be uh, the final group of jawed fish to evolve.